All right. And we are back with more Hand of Fate 2. I know I was a little, uh, in the middle of something when I left off last time. But, uh, think it'll leave me where I was? Yeah. Uh, did it skip the encounter I was on, or was that the last one I was on? Let me see if I can map captured soldiers. I don't remember doing that. Huh. I guess I'll just move forward. They place themselves in these dire positions and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. Oh boy. While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of Corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods. I was heading to tea with the Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawls had now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. You stay here and protect me. I can pay you. I, I'll accept that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, great maker, thank you. You linger near the nobleman's carriage in case the corrupt re reappear. Just beyond the trees, you can hear the blood curling sounds of combat. Screams and shouts echo long into the night. You wait, but no soldiers return from the battle. The nobleman climbs into his carriage, curls into a ball, and sobs uncontrollably. You will not be moved or roused. You return to West Wind. Oh. Okay. Free gold. <laughs> I'll take it. Here we begin to see oh. one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. Oh, great. That sounds fun. The Westwind Tower bells chime feverishly. The town crier bellows. There's corrupted inside the town. They broke through the sewers and into Laos Lane. Our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out. Oh, I can absolutely do that. You arrive to find Westwind's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance of its poorest area, Laos Lane. We cannot let the corrupted spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted, even a little. Well, yes, I'll join them. Join the fight against the corrupt. And the trickster. Forgot about that little trickster. <laughs> oh boy, why did, why did my cell phone notify me that I'm streaming? Yes, I know I'm streaming. I'm right here, thank you. God damn it. All right, how do I play again? Oh yeah, give me that sword. Is that a new sword? Oh no, that's my cardinal blade. Yeah, all right. What does block me. again? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Got the I can take these out perfectly. Left trigger. Nailed it. Alright, where are the rest of you guys at? There you are. Oh, we need to go take this guy out. There we go. Get over here. Use my little ability. Nail him. And nail them. Perfection. Couldn't have done it better if I tried. I drink a little Mountain Dew. I should probably leave... Nah, don't leave the cap off. It'll go flat that way. With the corrupted threat removed, you insert that these shoulders survive... Sh shoulders? Soldiers survive the edge of town's defense. The soldiers have to scavenge what you can from the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. Ooh, equipment. A Bastion. shield in more ways than one. I will definitely take a heavy shield. Oh, reduce the movement to 10%. That doesn't, uh... I'm okay with that. Gain three food. Good deal. Oh! We're on this little circle again. Uh, let's go up. Ooh, general store. Let me see. The shopkeep nods as you enter. Adventure! How's the world out there? I don't know. Let's see what kind of equipment you got. Uh, a helm? I mean, it's better than nothing. I don't really need a new weapon. What's the helm do? A little bit more defense. I'll take it, to be well, honest. Well, that may help you on the road ahead. Here's hoping. And then food. Uh, I don't really have much other use for gold. 
uh, but I plan to walk around a little bit, so I'll get a little more food. Watch me need gold to beat one of the challenges. That's the way it always works. I'll keep a little bit on me for that reason. Do I have anything that I can sell? Not really. I don't want to sell those. Uh, leave. All right. We'll just move on up to this one then. Always treat those who feed you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. Damn. Yeah, remember I put this in my deck. Chance upon a wooden cart, overflowing with pears, pears, pies, and many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Malaclip shakes his head. Poor old Chester. This is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women, coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. The old farmer hawks his wares to passerbys. Tots, pies, and exotic lies. Let's see, Chester glares at two passing lovers walking hand in hand. To be young and naive, eh? Darts, pies, or exotic lies? I'm... I'm curious. She was so beautiful. He whispers as he passes you a bag of spiked purple fruits. Chester stares in a kind of wistful gloom at the exotic fruits for a while. Before he finally decides on a price. Now you wager for more than mere success and failure. You oh. choose the very stakes themselves. Oh, I saw that for a split second, and I didn't like that. Oh, God. I don't have enough gold for that. Just seems strangely affronted at this. Takes the fruit from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. Okay, so that's how that card works. Understood. Uh, I kind of messed up my little chat thing. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Look back on the game. And we're back to normal. All right. Next. They got themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Oh, I'm going to free them. I remember. I, I think I hit one of these earlier. This is how it works. I'm going to fight to free them. Absolutely. This is the frost, but I can fight them. I have less mobility because of that shield, but I think it should be okay as long as I remember to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Like I'm playing dodgeball over here. Hey, friends. You look. Oh, wait, you're raiders? You're. Are you a little different from those other guys? From the frozen dark of the far north, they come. Nordlers can perform a com can perform a combo attacks. That's a. You mean can perform combo attacks? Don't need that A there. Use rip toes or use riposte with single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay. So that's how that's going. Oh God. Ow. Okay. Okay. A little mean here. Oh. Nope. Nailed it. It's fine. I love that dodge. Oh. God, you're sneaking up on me out of nowhere, you fools. I still did it. Did my friend die? I hope not. Seems like he could. He's just standing in the battlefield while they're fighting him. Poor mallet clips. Ooh, I gained a blessing? Thunder's Boon. Draw a gain card at the beginning of each new map. If it is a life card, then keep it. Otherwise, discard it. Interesting. The Northerner's dead, and you free the soldiers. Ah, so it's kind of keeping track of who I've rescued. Um, I'm gonna go the long way around. Oh, that doesn't use up food anymore? Cool. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. Hmm. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passerby to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making up with some of your belongings. Thanks. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse at a thief as they weave through the crowd. Alright, uh... This one? Damn it! The tangled maze of people proves too much for you and the thief makes their escape. Mother fucker. Fuck it. Ah. Your right. companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. 
Oh, I guess we'll see. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclips' associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped in the ground around him. Merc! Malakops calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. Greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop Bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. I don't have enough gold, because I just got pickpocketed. Goblin man looks at friend and Malakops places a consoling hand on him. Don't be mad, he doesn't know how, you're, how our kind work. Merc crosses his arm and turns back to you. Malakops makes soothing noises. Look here, Merc. We'll be back before you know with the gold, okay? Oh, failed that one too. <laughs> well, maybe if I can get some gold on the arm wrestling, which I usually can. Kind of where the strength travels from village to hamlet, searching for the strongest from all over the land. Each visit, you'll wrestle only one opponent. Each win advances you to greater opponents and greater rewards. The second round of the competition is you set opposite the aged frame of Huntley Toothless. He boasts about once being the silencer for the Thieves Guild. Well, time to make dice. Wait, are a what? Reminder of oh, death. okay. I have three. The I thought I only had two. Die, as I'm sure you know, and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. That was a horrible roll. I'm, I'm gonna re-roll all of them. Come on! Wow, I nailed it. Holy Jesus. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Oh, Huntley crumbles in defeat almost instantly. You're lucky I'm not 20 or 30 years younger, he says, grumbling. I can't believe I pulled that off. Take your word from the purse on the way out of the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. I like that card, but god, that was a crappy roll. All right, let's go fix this problem now. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. All right, let's give him the ten gold. Alaclip steps forward as Merc counts the coins. Merc, old bean. The bard looks furtively around, before quickly waving at his shoulders. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malaclips for a while. Malaclips. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. He splutter indignantly. I will require a test of skill from him, he turns and points at you. Pick a flower and eat it. Creasy Flores displays his meager wares. Malaclips nods as if this were a fair request. Um, eat the luminous purple flower. The flower has a crispy burnt texture. A 15 is my target? Are you kidding me? Did I pick the wrong one? Did I pick, like, the hardest one? Uh, alright, so I landed a six. I have to re-roll both of those. Or choose which dice to re-roll. Both of those. Don't do that wrong. Come on, big money. Nope. Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. Really? Uh, you feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck, and you collapse to the floor. You wake the Malaclips, splashing you with water. Merc is left, and you see him attempting to steal a seed bun from the baker's stall. We'll come back later and try again. I can't even retry it this time. God damn it. Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. All right. Top Westwind Town Hall is a large bell tower. It used to signal a day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields, but now it will summon Westwind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? Ring the damn bell. As night cloaks Westwind, you can sense the corruption is re rising from the shadows all around you. You survey any shoulders you manage to recruit. Am I getting all of them? You gather the... You've gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's something you won't need anymore. Whew. Give a rousing speech. Okay. 
Um, it's not one of these two, but I lost it. It's one of these two. Um, that one? Oh, Jesus, thank you. Your rousing speech imbues the soldiers with confidence and zeal. There's going to be a lot going on right now. I've got eight enemies. Seven plus one boss. Good lord. It's going to be brutal. Holy moly. Oh, hi, friend. Terror of Westwind. As the final vestiges of Eman they are erased, the terror wakes. Use Bash to break the terror's corruption to armor and defeat it with a finisher before it regenerates. Use bash? What is bash? B. Okay. Understood. Got that one. I can take care of the lower guys first. That would be awesome. Alright, so the boss is over here. I'm gonna use one of these. And then run away a little bit. Towards this guy. Go ahead and take him down. Oh! Got hit by that. Hey, thank God he doesn't poison me like a damn it. All to hell. Alright, so that guy's down. He's the last little one. Oh, whoops. Almost got hit by that. Oh, there's one guy left still. Bash it. There, oh, jeez. That was close. Now get him. That was a big hit. Oh. And then he gets his shield back. Nice. That messed him all the time. Ooh, look out. There we go. You know, a lot of people have talked bad about the combat in the reviews of the game, but I like this combat a little better than the first one now. First one. I really do. I think it's more bearing than the last one. But I won. That's what matters. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. I know. Does it satisfy you? This bloodshed? Oh yeah, it does. Knowing those you destroy were once simple peasants going about their day. Eh, not anymore. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with the town already saved. The magician returns to the deck, but now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. Notice that ruby ring. Oh, so those are new rings and a winner's bane. Oh, I remember that sword. That was a nice sword. Man-eating tree. Gnomish exchange. Lost boy. Pauper plague. And Westwind tavern. So many damn cards. All right. God, that is fun. As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Ooh, let's open up a few paths here. Am I gonna choose my own path? I don't know, I'll kind of go in order because I want to play the whole damn game. Uh, now the companion. Uh, oh, I thought they said that I got the magician. But I'll go ahead and take that. Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Uh, so the encounters. Uh, that'll help me unlock cards, so I'll add Westwind Tavern. Um, there's a lot of new things. I need to beat Mark Lips, and I need to beat the freaking Market Thief. Um, the Old Maiden is a very helpful card. But what should I do next? Fork in the Road. I'm trying to remember what Fork in the Road was. I don't know. And then... Lost Boy sounds interesting, so I'll, that's what I'll put in my deck. And now, the equipment I want... 
I'm not gonna be able to see anything about it. Uh, Ruby Ring. I want the Cardinal Blade. Cardinal Blade is one-handed, right? One-handed Armor Breaker. That has repost on it. But I also wanted to do Winter's Bane. Uh, that. Hmm. Which one of these? That does less damage, but it's made for the Northerners. The Warrior's Axe is a heavy one. I don't use that very often. I think that's a shield too, though. I'll find out by putting that in my uh, deck. And continue. I'm ready to do this. Oh boy, here we go. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. The High Priestess. Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. Interesting. All right. Malaclips has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. While I usually refrain from working for the Empire, since this one takes me further away from it, I've made an exception. It'll square my debt with General Brandstorm, or Brandstrom, and help me open many doors for you. What do you say? Um... Ask him about the mission. General Brandstrom instructed me not to come back until I talk to the High Priestess of the North and offer the terms of the treaty, he explains. Uh, ask him about the leader writers. There are many clans dotted around, but the supposed leader of them all is the High Priestess who lives up there. Uncle just points to the top of the soaring mountain before you. How can I help? As you know, I have many great skills, but my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against Northern Raiders. I know no one else who is more up to the task. Will you join me? Yeah. Excellent. Bring your sword and let me do the talking, says the Malcolyps. I brought plenty of supplies so we can get set up camp when we're hungry. 25 food. Jesus. All right. So, oh, these have like little side things. That's how that works. Malcolyps shares a tidbit as you commence your journey. The high priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance of swaying her in our favor. So collect at least six blessings before meeting the High Priestess. You grit your teeth and begin the ascent. So that's probably what some of my cards are for, how he talked about have your deck set up to press Y to camp? I still don't understand that. It's interesting, but... A lesson in caution awaits oh us all. I don't like this already. Truly wild nature will not tolerate fury in its domain unless it is its own. Okay. High up on the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man. Scatamoosh, scatamoosh, what he does. Okay. Approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring wind. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Hidden raiders spring down the mountain with the dexterity of mountain goats. I have, like, the most bare minimum equipment on my hands right now, don't I? Do I even have a shield? I'd be lucky if I have a shield. Oh, I do. The most basic shield of shields, and I've got a freaking like, dilapidated sword. Who dares venture? None less than the amazing Oh, damn it. And I got hit right off the bat. Ooh, ooh. Jesus, granted I had that shield, so thank God for that. Do I have that back yet? No, but I have this. Loose road down. Whoa! Nailed it. Nailed him. Oh, damn it. I should have countered that. Done. Ooh, wee. Those guys are not nice. Ooh. Oh, they want me to pick one? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Cardinal Blade. Absolutely. It's better than my dilapidated sword. A remnant of the Templars and their religious righteousness. Take it. Gain 10 gold. The clash of steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains answer with a low, ominous rumble as a wall of white rushes towards the melee. 
sweeping away everything in its path. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've got to roll for my luck. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I mean, the four is better than nothing, so I'm going to reroll these two. Come on, roll high. Oh, my God. I barely make it. <sighs> you seek shelter against the bluff, pressing close to the rock faces the avalanche roars overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Your assailant weapons just from the snow. As you near, you realize the still clenched in his hand, his body buried by the wrist of the avalanche. Retrieve the weapon or dig him out? So I can just take the weapon or I can, if I take the guy, they'll probably give me a blessing. Or two fame? You brave the cold and free the raider from his icy grave. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, you saved me, though we're enemies by blood. Take my blessing and lead me to my thoughts. You didn't give me a blessing. Guardian Angel. Optionally, retry any chance card gambit. Thank you, I'm gonna need that anyways in the first place. All right, I made the right decision there, but I didn't get that sword, did I? Let me check, I know I've got the fucking market team over here. I do have the Cardinal Blade still. Oh, thank God. And then just the basic wooden shield. I have a villager's axe too? Didn't even know that. All right, so this guy, this guy right here. Yeah, I know you took five of my gold. All right, success and huge success. Watch them carefully. I completely lost it. Well, yeah, redraw, obviously. Yes! Oh my god. The thief is nimble, but you manage to gain on them as they negotiate the crowd. With the thief almost in arm's reach, they knock over a barrel of apples in an attempt to hinder you. A huge success gives me a target roll of 14? Okay. Yeah, okay. I have to re-roll both of these. God, at least I got a nice five there. I got... Come on! Are you shitting me? The apples roll across the ground in front of you and you lose your footing and land squarely on your back. The thief gets away. You dust yourself off. A huge success. Th that doesn't even make any sense. What's the regular success then? Because usually a huge success means you know. Be careful where one defeating. takes refuge. Oh. Even in the worst of storms. Oh. 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 Okay. The climb becomes unbearable as a ferocious blizzard sweeps the mountain. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. Oh god. Oh, it's one of these two. I don't know. That last bit threw me off. Well, gotta redraw. Yeah, I knew it. Right here? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Now Eclipse forges the firewood, saying, This log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Access the fire camp any time between encounters. The campfire must can be used to consume food, trade, or review your mission. That's so weird. The mountain itself pushes you back. Turn back for now. I'm not ready to go anywhere yet. I'm trying to get around. In the cold, Another men one. Become desperate. Women hold these mountains together. Even through the worst. Christ. Alright. I'll take it. Nope, continue. I don't need anything else. And Howling one's ease, you clear that, blah blah blah. And now there's another campfire there. Other than that, there's really nothing into what is this. In your Fork life, in you will have wandered endless intersections. Yet this one sticks with you. Why? What oh. is it in your memory that catches here? We're gonna find out. You arrive at a signpost detailing the possible path north and south. Malaclip sniffs the air. My magical senses are pulling me towards the north. It smells like someone is baking cinnamon pie somewhere up ahead. Um. 
Okay, is that just a free card? Is that what that is? It's just a free way through? No event or nothing? Will okay. you push on despite nature itself I'll attempting send. to thwart you? I only have one blessing so Old far. Oh. Witches. I have a fondness for them, but I would not trust them. Thanks for the warning. As you ascend the snowy mountain, Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting out of the chimney. An old frail lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. We've come in search of the great high priestess. Deliver an important message, says Malaclips. Better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd take like a taste. I've got it right this time. You can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Malaclips politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging you forward. What on earth? Oh, okay, I did not pay any attention to any of that. Divine Intervention. I think that'll be something that helps me with my uh, roles. That sounds very helpful. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one. We thank the old lady and continue up Monte Freitas, paying no need to the brewing blizzard. Alright. Another blizzard? Jesus Christ! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That one's up front. That one went in the middle, right there. Take it. Ooh, we. I hate those so much. With the least Here of we notice, go. The, the very now. lands beneath your feet can slide away. Trapper Frost. Life is filled with surprises. Oh, time to go. <laughs> Boy, time to see how well this goes. <laughs> trapper, on the frozen plains, prayer few and far between. The keen eyes of a trapper see all. Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their targets, use a bait to avoid the traps, or change direction rapidly to break free. Well, that's gonna be fun. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I see you swinging that thing. Whoa! No, 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 Oh my god, that's some stuff right there. Really? No. Damn, I hate all of you. No, 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 I hear you doing that thing over there. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Good lord. Those guys are annoying. Ain't doing that no more. Winter's Bane? So what is the difference? So it's got a knockdown northerner requires 10 hits. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to northerners. Enemies in knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. So that's a very big one. Do I want to equip it right now? Well, actually, I'm in an area where that's a big thing right now. So I'll go ahead and take that because it's a lot of uh, northerners. Oh, yeah, I've got to survive the freaking stupid damn avalanche. Oh, I nailed it. Sweet. Lucky me. All right, and I'm going to dig him out so I can get another blessing with two fame. Watch that. Score the exact target value in a dice game. If you draw five equipment cards, then discard this card. Oh, the problem is I don't want to. I don't want to lose that. 
I'll have to take it, but I don't want to lose that blessing. That's actually going to be a little. Uh... The mountain is unforgiving. Turn back. You would not be the first to die upon its peak. I've got to get as many blessings as I can. I'm halfway there. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the pity. Temple of Divine Providence provides blessings in exchange for a simple gold donation. Absolutely. Uh, oh, and I can pick one. Is it going to tell me what it is? Receive four plus food after every dice gambit. Receive 15 life for every gold gain card you receive. Your max life is less than 150. You may discard food equipment cards to gain. Okay. Let's try them. Get up to 20 gold at the beginning of a new map if you have less than 20 gold. Deft Eye reduces the speed of a wheel gambit? I've never experienced that, and I'm going to take that just because I'm scared of the unknown. You leave with your new blessing. Thank you. Can I come back to that? No. Okay. Hey, Maliclips's problem. All right. I remember this. Uh, I don't have the gold for it because I just spent it on a blessing. <laughs> Sorry, Maliclips. Oops. <laughs> I might come back later. Children. Lost boy. <laughs> it's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. You done? Okay. He's just a small child, you overhear. A deeper voice growls, We have to take him to the dungeons or else he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them where our outpost is. That's a shifty-looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, said Maliclips. You consider the boy's fate. If I save... Uh, well, this isn't part of the blessing story, so I can't say it's going to give me a blessing. I'm going to save the boy. I'm sitting here up in the band, they let the boy go. Oh boy, they're unmoved by my threat. Uh, yeah. Going to have to be careful on this one. It's just me and Malaclips. I ain't got no backup anymore to distract them. All right. So what are the bosses going to do? Because we got these, the Watchmen. Taken from the Dregs of Society, elevated to petty positions of power. Watchmen can block, greatly reducing incoming damage. Use Bash to open them up for damage. Oh, the other guys just don't matter enough? Whoa! Jesus. Oops. I meant to block that, or counter that, I mean, actually. Damn, they are. Oh, oh, that's Malakops, probably. Can you not do that, sir? Sir, can you? Can you? Oh, there was Winter's Bane. I'm still good. I've got that little shield there. I think that disappears after a little while. But... All right, yeah, that just knocks it away because it's not good enough to actually, you know, hurt. Oh man, my dude's kind of hurt actually. There we go. Ooh -wee. Gotta be careful with those guys. They were hurting me a little bit. Alright. Plus five max life, seven food. As you check in the unconscious guards, you notice the boy looking at you warily, as if sizing you up. Oh god, is he going to attack me or steal my stuff? Uh, oh, wow. Just re-roll that, and I've got this unlocked. Just don't roll a two. I don't want to lose that blessing. Please don't lose that blessing. No, 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 no. Oh. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. I have little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll equip it. Actually, I'll we'll equip that. And then, uh, merchant's ring. Trade. The second one. Everything is give and take. With the current Another merchant's empire, ring. More take than give. I didn't want to lose that blessing. <laughs> he fiddles with a little dry plant hung around his neck nervously. Okay, I will tell you. There's an empire ambush on our village, and I ran with mother. We got separated. You... Ooh. He wipes some tears from his face angrily. 
but I'm not afraid. I am of Clan Catsfoot, and we are great pathfinders. I will find my way home. The boy tells you what he knows of the area. The small northerner boy refuses any at all help. You can only wish him luck as his small form disappears into the forest. Well, that, uh, it still didn't go as planned. I was hoping that, you know, I could just kind of keep that blessing. Careful how one deals with old magic. Earth up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense you barely see the tiny cottage engulfed in snow. An old lady beckons you in. I've received word from my sister's hawk, and I've been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've up is my best yet. You think it's good enough to take for the high priestess, she says, blowing the steam off the simmering bowl of thick liquid. I really couldn't, Malklop says, patting his belly. Oh, there's only two here. Okay. Ah, uh, this. I'm just going to take it and not risk it. Second win. What is that? In combat, boost life to 75 and life drops to 25 and then discard this card. So don't get hit, in other words. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Oh yeah, so they, so they said that last time. Yep. Let's just get out of this blizzard. Actually, let's find more of those avalanches. That's what I need. Uh, can I ask for a blessing? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe supplies will give me a blessing. It's just food, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Okay. I'll go down over here then. Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe harbor among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up, and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before he can disagree, the owner swings open the saloon doors and pushes you inside. Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. The first invigorated barkeep hops onto a table and shouts up at the noise. You lazy, drunken deserters are done. The Steward's Guild has sent an enforcer here, and now you're all going to have to get back to your posts. This town needs defending. Okay. Steel of musket and steel of phalanx, or phalanx of steel. God damn it. One of the soldier rises with a slight sway. We've got three days until our shift ends, and we return to civilization. So we're not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale. Right, lads? Raukus cheer erupts and beard and tranquids smash together all around. So why don't you take your shiny little badge and shove off? Let's threaten them. They suggest the menace that the soldiers should report to duty, or they'll report to the healer. Oh, oh, crap. I lost it. I got it. Wow. I was just gonna do a redraw. Whoops. One soldier spits at your feet, but turns and leaves. The rest slowly fill out behind him. Nicely I did done. that without any encounter. I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Blizzard. Shit. Shitty, shitty, shit. <laughs> the climb becomes unbearable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, it gets so much worse. Take it. God, I'm so lucky right now. How am I even doing this? When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance and discover the dark clouds have passed. I don't know why I'm reading this. I already know all this. I want the avalanche so I can get two more blessings. A I grand lost opportunity oh, yes. for Pay you six to gold. take whatever pleases you and um, go about your day. So which one do I want now? That's receive plus four food after every dice gambit. In life after every gold cane card you received. Max life. And then, um, I haven't really gotten any gold at all this map. I'm going to do that because I get the dice rolls all the damn time. I just need to find one more, unfortunately. Hopefully this isn't the end. 
fucking blizzard. Oh my god, this is so bad. That one. Yes! I'm getting so good at this. Oh my god. Uh, please don't be the end. Now the confrontation. Are you ready to face the priestess of her people? And drive the deal the Empire has requested? Or will you turn and flee? I'm gonna have to fight her, I guess. Because I lost the other blessing because I got a perfect dice roll. God, the only thing I didn't want on that dice roll was a two. And they hit me with it. As he went in the Great Hall, the towering arch doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giantess in a velvet robe enters accompanied by raiders. Malaclips bows low to the ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss a truce between the Empire and Northerners, my lady. So they send me a silver-tongued devil and his mercenary. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. You kneel before the High Priestess. Whatever in a pleasance you have failed with the gold token. You still have a chance to defeat this mission. Even if imperfectly. <sighs> the giantess claps, the sounds ringing in silent cold halls. Ha! <laughs> this small thing survived it. Impressive. But if you wish to speak to me in a treaty, you must prove yourself against my companion. Christ. So I'm gonna have to do this again to actually get that gold token and get cards that I need. All because I rolled the perfect goddamn dice roll. Man, this game is ruthless. Hey, Berserker Champion! Dear Slayer, Relentless Champion of the High Priestess, Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows their enemies' moving and attacks. Why do we always end up in the Oh, not those little. Burns. That will roll. La 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 la. Thank you. Damn it. Oh no, don't you hit me with that fucking thing. Come on. Wiggle, you stupid piece of crap. Now, Cups, he just die. Yeah, he just died. Oh, you're the boss. I don't want to fight you yet. No, not with the little barbell rollers. Things. Oh, Ooh, that almost hit me real bad. Oh, I can help him. Oh, God. Oh, man, I slowed down a lot right there. No, 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 no. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, you got one of those, too. Good hit. Right, I want to take out some of these little guys, though. Damn, I'm so hurt. I can do this, though. Whoa. Really? I dived away from that, but I used my... Oh my god. I'm so slow because this dude. Alright, here we go. Oh, damn it. Oh god. Here we go. Good god. That was a little rough. That was a little rough. Even though you failed to bring me your offering, I'm impressed with how you wielded the sword. Now hear my terms. The High Priestess draws herself up, a towering figure draped in fur and wrath. The North will never bend to the Empire. Blood for blood for blood. Those are my terms. Small one. Let your leaders hear it and quake. Oh, with that, we make our descent. Because, uh, I only got that. Hammer, Berserker's Creed, Extinguisher. It needs some things that'll uh, help give me. Ooh, supply gains. Plus five food. I guess that's what I, I start out with five more food. Maybe. And then for beating that thief, that little son of a bitch. 
Or no, the Rusty Razor, not the Thief. I've still got that Thief in my damn deck. So I did not gold that one. That one's a hard one to fucking deal with. Let me try out the Empress. I should read the thing here and see what it wants from me. Uh, doesn't give me much help. Uh, earn fame in order to wield the legendary weapon, Keithra's Ire. So it looks like this is going to be a fame-based one. Villages in the northern outskirts are under assault from northern raiders. Defeat the mighty shaman who is leading their raids. All right, so I'm gonna have Malaclips. Um, those are new ones that I wanna try. Um, Malaclips' is problem, I'll be able to get that eventually. Still haven't beat up. Arm Wrestling, I like that. Lost Boy, he helps with fame. Uh, the Old Maiden helped give me some things that I need. Friendly Innkeeper. That might help me with fame. Market Thief, and Winter Solstice. I'm hoping those will help me a little bit. Uh, add that, Winter's Bane, that, that, uh, a new body, that, that, and that. That'll be good. So I guess this is a pie that, by the start of my journey. Do I need that much food? Probably not. Um, if I start with that, I at least have a better uh, weapon at the beginning so I can do more damage in fights. Alright. Let's do this. So it looks like this one's going to be fame-based. In this case, the Empress is a symbol. A leader of the Northern Clans, but not their only one. One that gold token. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride, your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Oh boy. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Order of Talos explains in a hushed voice. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his cloak. Pretha's ire. It is the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Anger is a powerful force. So I need 20 fame. 20 fame to use that. Okay. Require 20 fame to equip this weapon. Earn fame by completing encounters. The weapon is heavier than you imagine, perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic. Oh, the other looks straight in your eyes as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may bear Heathrow's ire. You do well to remember that. I'm just going to go ahead and begin it. Alright. Time to... Okay, so that's my exit point for this map. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos. Not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Thank you! Should have given me a blessing off of that. General store! I don't have any gold. I guess I'll just, uh, leave. Alright. Arm wrestling! Now that's more like it. Your opponent in the third round is Paralee the Brass Hag. She touts herself as a fearsome pirate but needs the money from this competition to bring herself a boat. Alright, so I need a 14. Oh god, this sucks so much. Um, I'm gonna have to reroll both of these. Because I have to roll a perfect 5 or 6 off of that. I can roll these. Come on! Uh, I did even worse on both of those. Ah, uh, damn it. I still got 10 gold. Well then, I'll still take that. Oh boy, Raiders ambush. Your supplies are running low. Make your choices carefully. Rustling behind you in the warning that you get your life is in danger. You turn as the cords of a northern bow wrap around your body. 
Oh great, two of those. Probably them towards you as you break free. Alright. Hopefully if I fight them I get some fame. So I'm gonna hope. Well I mean they want me to take out the Northerners, right? So I'll probably get fame from the village. Here's hoping. Dear God, don't kill me. At least I got a crappy shield at least. <laughs> Alright. Soldier's sword. Over here I must have a heroic sword by their side. This, however, is utterly ordinary. I'll have you know my friend here is killed far better than you. Alright, let's take some of these fuckers around. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Don't you run, you little crapper. Hey, can you help me out with the shield thing here? Thank you. No. Alright. So, yeah, you've got the bows on you as well. Alright, I hear him running them up over there. Yep. Take him out. Yep. I think he's going to be close to death soon. Can you not do that? Thank you. Oh, he's dead. That was not helpful at all. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, wow, you actually stopped that attack, even though it's undodgeable. All right. Ooh-wee. Now that is some hardcore stuff. Uh, gain two fame. Let's go ahead and search for spoils here quick. Oh, God. Right there. I'll take 20 gold. 20 gold will not do me bad. I do need food, though. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to start starving here. Can I go back to the store? No. Wait, camp? Campfires offer a chance to see what your companion has to say about your current challenge. So... I want to trade. I would like to buy food, actually, so... It's probably more expensive than usual, but I need the food. At least that little bit. That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, finish trading, and break camp. Alright. That's, that's, that's pretty interesting. I like that. These tokens right, represent the expansion. All right, game. give the goblin more ten gold. Options, so I remember that. More cards, Let me eat a forget me not and see what happens. Does that change the difficulty? It does. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Well, a four is not bad because a four makes it average. So let me reroll these. Nailed it. Woo! There we go. You feel a little starry-eyed. Quick. What day is it? Malaclip smirked and merged blatantly for your answer. Callous day? Yes! The florist claps gleefully. The most auspicious or most doomful day of the calendar, depending on where you stand. Merc nods, happy with the results. He beckons Malaclip's closer. Of those of us left, you should seek Ira of the Veil. She may know something of the cure. Last I heard, she's hiding out in the underneath. Let us discover what the next chapter in our dear Bard's tale will be. Oh no, not her. Malaclip straightened his neck shawl nervously. Greasy goblin man giggles manically. Yes, her. She'll likely eat your bones before she lets you speak. Now, you'll excuse me. I have a business to run. With that, Malaclip says her gets turned away and hurls a bouquet at a shocked passerby. Flowers, fresh flowers, buy them or I'll eat your eyes. Hey, let's they gain two fame from that. These are the choices right. that make the hero or the villain. Well, I need to be a hero, so. The town choir announces the Empire seeks mercenaries to join a battle against corruption. You seek out the watchtower recruitment is taking place. You're having time to hear Sir Malaford's plan to wipe out the Pauper District. The outbreak began there, and we cannot spare risking any of their lives. Let's see. Sir Malaford the Green leads the mercenaries to the Pauper District, where the poor and sick have been walled off from the rest of the city. Uh, well, I don't see why I would refuse to kill the Paupers. Fight the Corrupted. 
It's like, I don't know why I wouldn't help them. I guess there would, there would be something good that would come from that? I don't know. Alright, where is this gonna go? Alright, oh, it's that guy again. Great, what a lovely friend. Alright, uh, let me hit this guy with the big one. Alright, I can't see his health thing because he's not the boss anymore, but this will still be helpful. Oh, hey, buddy. He could not do that to me all the time. Yeah, that would be lovely. Can we keep bashing this thing. Oh, God. Yep, there we go. Oh, hit him with the big one. Did I kill him? Yeah. Is there still one alive? Oh, yeah, there's a little guy down here. Just hiding, trying not to get killed. But I did kill him. God, I love this game. Game two fame. Also gained 25 gold and 15 gold. We got gold for days. No food though. You strike me as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. Uh, okay. You hear shouting up ahead. As you make your way down the cobbled street, you see lights flickering on the road ahead in front of you. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billing out of its upper room windows. The crowd is formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers, Please help. My family's in there. Anyone help me? Well, of course I'm gonna help. The wheel is one of my favorite innovations. It combines many different elements of our game into one. Okay. Um, do I need to stop it when it's in front of me? Oh, man, I did it. Okay. I obviously want to pick this. Because this seems like the best option. I'll continue with one of toil. I'm not sure what one of toil is. Excellent. A wise decision. Through a haze of smoke, you find the woman's youngest daughter crying under a bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the blaze. Go dress to your aid. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. Be warm. The building is not safe. It'll collapse soon. I'm going to go in and spin it again. So the toil is the people. That's what it is. All right, so I want to stop when it's a little bit ahead in front of me. Yes, like that. I think it's getting faster, too. Obviously, I want this. I'll even take the injuries after this. You find the woman's son attempting to find his way out through the smoke and flames. Grabbing his hand, lead him back to the safety. So I've gained two more faints, so I'm already halfway there. Oh. <sighs> It's another life pain card of the wheel gambit. Again, return is probably going to go even faster, so I have to stop about. I have to stop about four ahead now. So, how many cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six cards, so I need to stop. Probably right after the, right after it passes me. And now, go, go, go! One more, one more! No, so close. I will redraw. I'll take that. I didn't need the life paint card. All right, so right after it passes in front of me, nailed it. Ooh, yes. I'm so happy with that. I guess it's because of him that he was able to help me with that. Why does he have that red three on his name? Something in the courtroom, we find the woman's husband. You put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. As you merge more and children, rush in the man's side and embrace him. Thank you, adventurer. You've saved my family from certain death, the woman says. I nailed that. I gained eight fame from that. While her possessions have been destroyed and we will never be able to repay you, know that we will speak of your deeds here today for as long as we all shall live. Oh, that made me feel good. Alright, I'm going to set up camp quick. Because I need to buy more food. <laughs> I need to uh, trade food. I'm gonna take the three food and the one food for that matter. Man, 
there's nothing that makes me feel more proud than actually getting that whole thing going for you. The Cardinal Blade is 51? Jesus. All right, finish the trade. Break camp. And we'll go ahead and head on down here to the next level. I'm already way ahead of where the I need next to be. Town holds. What is with the red on that card? Following the Talos Elder's instructions, you find yourself on the road to Brayden. Continue. Dusk falls as you continue on your quest. Do not take lightly the mantle of fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. You arrive at Brayden to find it under attack from raiders. As the village burns, three bear farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, please help, we must stop these savages before all is lost. You draw your weapon and rush to their aid. Oh, I can take them on. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I've got this. Famous last words as I get completely and utterly destroyed by these guys. Are they the ones that have the freaking bolas? Yep. You know what? I'm going to take them out first because I cannot stand those little douchebags. Yeah, you guys, I don't like you. That's right. Out. And to counter that. Oh, nope, I hear it. No, don't hit the villagers. Don't you hit those poor villagers either. Alright, so I killed them. Back down here. Let's see if I can save some lives here. Yep. Oh, wow, I hit that guy too. Yep. Don't hit these other guys. They're friends to me, okay? Oh, you're hitting them. Don't you dare. I'm going to save all their lives. And I did. Ooh wee At least I think so. Armory equipment gain. Cardinal Do you blade. use this for its holy virtues or its cutting edge? Both, to be honest. Now, that's heavy, so I can't use a shield. But, uh, bash cause additional damage to armor. I'm not going to equip it right now. Even though it does so much damage. That and I keep... I can, I can still dodge, though. So, you know what? I will equip that. Because I can at least dodge out of the way of attacks. I don't really count that often anymore. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend their wounds. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but said their village is no more. Please accept the small token for our gratitude. Food. Thank you. Oh, more food. This is going much better. It appears better you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The turn. raiders will hide from you no longer. Oh, boy. You turn Kretha's ire over in your hands. The ruin on its face begins emitting a golden light. It's unclear if it now weighs less or you have new, 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 newfound strength. Had a stroke there. But it is unclear if it is now weighs less. Or, uh, but either way, you can either now we I got lost. Listen, I'm having a stroke. The Sanctum. Oh, okay, so now I can go there and defeat the Shaman. Cool, so I'm at the tail end of my journey. So I've pretty much nailed both of those now. I just have to at defeat the Shaman. At what point does honor bend to pragmatism? Oh, so I think I sacrificed uh, my sidekick. To re spin that wheel that one time. Alright, I'm gonna try and help her out. I have to get a dice roll of 14. So, this was like the one I had before. Why did I say it was new? Yeah, by an overturned carriage, and she wants help because she was robbed. I'll assist her. Yeah. Do I only have two? Oh no, I have three. It confuses me so much on the camera angle. Um, I just need to re roll that first one and get a five, six, seven, eight, nine. God, this is gonna suck. I have to get a high roll. Please. One shy. God, that is mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Well, I'll just go ahead and fight him. I think I failed it last time, too, in the tutorial mission. God, I am so bad at everything that I do. But you, know, not, you know it's not terrible? The quality of this stream. That's why I like the silver Twitch. I know there's less people on here than Twitch, but I mean, there's two people watching right now, so thank you guys for watching. But, uh, alright. Bretha's Ire. Bestowed to the village of the western fishing villages by the clans in the north. 
in a time of peace and prosperity. I am gonna decimate the. Oh, jeez, this this thing hits heavy. Oh, another bomb. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, can I actually counter that? I don't think I can. Oh, I can counter it still, actually. Oh, you little tricky little bitch. All right, now let me get to this boss guy over here. Oh, there's two of you that have the little bomb. Oh, if you got the little flamethrower going on. Let's see what this super does. Oh, now that's handy. I like this weapon. But it might be, uh, might be a campaign-only weapon for this adventure, based on the sound of it. Because if it requires 20 fame, that's going to be a hard thing to access in any other one. The thugs defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Oh, I can get a 9 on this easy. 13. <laughs> Good deal. And I gained 4 more fame. Thank you. And 3 food. And 5 food. God, I am set for life on this. All right, next one. Mm, Friendly and A simple part of every story, especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. As the night draws in, you return to the Rusty Razor. Fire greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the Rusty Razor? Um, discuss latest rumors. Sure, the incompetency of the recent cheese festival has kept the inn busy and is... I like that. He's got a little backstory going on. Um, you know what? I might buy a little bit of healing. Maybe. Or ask about lodging? That might be able to... Oh, so I can rest. Yeah, so I don't need to pay for healing then. I can just, uh... Lodge a little bit and use the food that I have for some life. Just a little bit. I think after one more I'll be fine. Because then after I step foot in the next positive area, I'll eat my last food for 99 life. Or eat one more food for 99 At life. At what age does a child lose Yeah, the lost boy. Innocence. Save the boy again. When do again. they become the enemy? I don't... I didn't need to. Because I'm already famed out. I grabbed it just for that extra fame, but I didn't realize I was going to dominate that spin wheel for the, uh... For the burning house. Who are you? Oh boy, a musketeer. Deadly at distance, only the most skilled are recruited into musketeer. Musketry. Musketeers fire heavy attacks. Defend with a shield, else evade for your life. So... Well! Yep, yep, okay, so... Yep. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of you quickly. Alright, let me hit this. Because that hurt them a lot. Wow, that was brutal. He was stuck on my sword and I flung him away. That was great. Whoa, there's another one hiding over here. Well, guess what, buddy? You're gonna get hit. God, that is so satisfying. Lost boy. Now I've gotta do the low dice roll. Oh yeah, um... Does not affect movement speed. All right, yeah, I'm gonna equip that. The I power like that. rage grants is often misunderstood. All right, now a little roll against them. Don't fuck this roll Back up, mate. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Obviously, just re-roll this one. All I need to do is get a three or better. Good lord, that was so close. All right, yay, gets filled, and then this little bit. And then another distressed damsel on the way. All right. Let's deal with You'll this You'll notice lady. that my carriage does not stop for every distressed traveler along the way. I'm going to I'm going to get the roll this time. You watch. I can only keep that one. You roll both of these. Wow, that was a hefty roll. Thank you, little says you help her from the carriage. Please accept this token of my gratitude. Okay. Oh yeah, I keep getting more gold for Berserker's Creed. <laughs> Too fame for that. So that's how they want you to get more fame as well. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. 
Oh, I can nail this. It is as the Talos Elder said, Malakoff's remarks. The shaman's sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. Use it, and you raise Heathra's ire above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark, and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Malaclips, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman. Bald and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. Ooh, a new sidekick, the Wanderer. He does not flinch, nor seem even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns. Small straw-plated charms and oddities hang from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless raiders, worshipping her leader in an eerie stillness. The defender of villages and the exiled one, the shaman says with a hiss. She steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. Let's end this. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bald northerner calmly. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. You ready your weapon and the shaman and the clansmen around you. Surround you. All right. We can do this. I think. Here's hoping. <laughs> Hi, Nini. This is going to be good. Raid leader Gerda. Raid leaders are the front line of the northern assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. The shaman can cast spells that heal her allies. Attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. Understood. Whoa, not the bow. You know what? I wonder how well I can take her out. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Well, understood. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna take her out first, mostly. Now. Whoa. Yep, she disappeared and went somewhere else. Over there behind her. Man. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Ow. Whoa. I don't know what my teammate does to me. Ow. Oh. Got her. Oh, does that finish the fight? Understood. That's all I needed to do. Ooh-wee. Shaman's body writhes as the dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the skies clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Colbjorn, he explains. I was born in the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will turn to the tradition they have lost. You have befriended them! Yeah, new friends! You and I have cleared a small part of the stain for my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Colbjorn make your way back to the forest in search of Malaclips. Another card returns to my deck. Do not worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. All right. Let's see. I got the armor of gluttony, ring of food, pious robes, frontier barbet, another helm, a few more things. I'm gonna prove myself a worthy hero. I've got that, and then for befriending him, I got clan eyebright. So those are his cards. Those require him to do. Understood. And then the gold. What does the gold do? Defending all the villages. Elder's gift. Is that a blessing? Or is that a new mission? Convincing Merc to help Malaclips. I got the underneath. I've got that going on now. And then Bitter Winner. So many new cards. Um, got a gold on that. Did that you open a new mission? Well. You understand the basic rules of the game now. From here, they will change. Oh, that's scary. 
Alright, man, there are a lot of challenges going on before... Camp? What is that? Is this where I can change my guy, I guess? Uh, yeah, so that's exactly what it is. It's just the thing to change myself. Okay. I was just checking to see what that is. I was like, is that the final showdown or something? I don't know. Not yet. I've got a lot of work to do. I am not even close to halfway done. All right. Still need to do the Emperor. I might go ahead and finish off that one from before where I've got to get the blessings off camera. Because that is just so brutal. I want the trickster. All mages are my children. This one, however, I would rather disown. Oh. Oh, continue with that. Uh, Alright, so there's all kinds of new things in there. I have to have the one guy, so I'm going to add the underneath. The upside down. Uh, cartographer, that'll give me a new card. Elder's Gift. That looks like it'd be a blessing of some kind. That's a platinum card. Okay. Uh, fucking market thief. Arm wrestling, I want to get that one done again. The old maiden is always so helpful. Uh, if I donate six gold, I can get a blessing with that. So I like that. Um, I don't know what the goal for this one is. Um, actually, let me check that. Um, thieves have stolen a relic from the first place. The Empire linking to higher adventures to help recover this and other items. Huh. I have enough food to avoid starvation. So let me see if I can do something that would definitely add food to me. And I mean, one would definitely be um, the Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies, even though that's so mean with the chance cards. Um, so that's got game goo, food and gold. Okay, I'm going to have that. That helps reveal the map. Because I said something about that. The friendly innkeeper's got game food. Reveal map. That's what Fork in the Road did. It freely opens up the map for you. Um, and that one, if you kill her guys, you're able to take the food. Keep water, gain resources and equipment. Burning building. That's for fame. I don't think I need fame on this. And now I've got a bunch of new things that I want to try out eventually. Nothing that'll give me any new missions. I never hit Winter Solstice last time. Let me try Watchtower. I don't know. I'm just trying things out. Let me continue with that. Um, don't want that. That's going to take 20 fame to use. And I'm not going to really be able to get that again unless I do that other one. The Humble Hammer. Does that require anything? Value 33. It doesn't require any fame or anything. Weapon deals less damage the higher the wielder's fame is. Interesting. Obviously, I want Winner's Bane, Bastion Purification, Armor of Gluttony. I like Berserker's Greed. I'm gonna try and throw that in there. Ruby Ring, Ring of Food. The Armor of Gluttony is all about food. I know that. And then there's a new helm. Let me try out the new helm. Uh, how do I want to start? Do I want that five food? This is the thing about starvation, so I'm going to take the food. I trust myself in fights, don't trust myself with food. So let's go ahead and start this. These foes I place before you, these rules, I do not know truly if they will train you for the challenges that Callus will place in your way. All right, so I've got to see what the special gold mission is for this, because I don't know. Of course, I didn't really we get know a hint how this it. part of the story ends. The Emperor is merely the face on the throne. Behind him, the usurper pulls the strings. The one who sits upon the throne of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Their very soul permeates the lands and fills the hearts of the people. The shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself seeks adventurous guild members. Urgent expedition vital to the safety of the Empire. You spot a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering a reward just to set off on the expedition, even more if we make it back. That's how desperate they are for help. The dealer adds a gold counter to the map. So do I need to reach a certain amount of 
gold? Is that it? It's still not telling me anything. The Empire does not ask for much, but in the end, they take everything. On arriving at the gates of the royal palace on armed escort leads you directly to the Empire's Emperor's chambers. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief council lays out the expedition. View relics from the... Okay, so discover the relics safely. Few relics from the last age still endure in this world. We had one on this very room until last night. He gestures to the empty pedestal. Not only must you reclaim the stone symbol of our power, we ask that you gather its three sibling relics. Examine the pedestal. An ornate pillow sits atop a stone pillar in the dust. You make out the shape of a jagged blade. It was a ceremonial sword. It sat for decades under our protection. We're not protecting it, you understand. We're protecting those who would try to possess it. The blade is cursed. Its venom strikes both wielder and foe in equal measure. Ask who stole the artifacts. The evidence suggests a thief. Well, I could have guessed that. <laughs> they seized on a weak spot in our guard schedule. There are many treasures in the palace. It is curious that they stole. That all they stole. This is all they stole. All right. I'm ready to go. Hold adventure. It looks skilled and dangerous, thieves, to steal the artifact. Or took skilled. I'm, I'm man. I'm getting dyslexic today. We need to ensure you'll be safe out there. See our training officer on the way out. And this whole lead-up is the story. Good lord. A keen eye will notice that themes repeat themselves. Events too. The wheel ever turns. We are greeted by Captain Estrella Fior. Or Estrella Fior. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual wield weapons are effective against fast enemies like thieves that are weak against armored enemies like Empire. I never understood. Okay. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If not, let things lie. Interest. Oh my God. Still, you find yourself hunting relics. Do you not wonder why or what they may do? This is an interesting map. Oh my god. Your companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves. Another is in the clutches of a shady merchant. One is enshrined in a tiny northern village. As for last, Malcolm shrugs. Who knows? So deliver them to the Empire safely. So, oh, are they moving? Interesting. So I wonder if I come back here to deliver them back to the Empire, if I can just walk around. Um, chances are, ask for food, because this is going to be a long road. Gain five food. Okay, just five food, but still not bad. Okay, so these guys are going to constantly try and get away from me, it looks like. Yet inattention leads to disaster. Not every inch of the wilderness is peaceful. Oh boy, I don't like this. The wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. You pluck some juicy wild bears from a thorn-covered thicket. The realization their poisonous arrives far too late. Minus 13 max health. Christ. Oh my god. Another 10 max life ticket. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can cut across to this guy over here. Oh my god. Holy hell. One more relic is within your grasp. Who hired these thieves? That is the true question. Mother of God. I've lost a quarter of my life already. On two cards. Wow. Other movements are erratic. You eventually track the thieves back to their camp. You catch them frantically loading the relic into a horse and cart. Just hold them off for a couple more minutes while we're ready the horses. I've got eight guys here. Oh, I didn't even check to see if I had that freaking blade equipped. Oh my god. So is there a time limit on this or what? I don't know. God, this is gonna suck. This seems like a hard campaign. <laughs> Alright. Cutthroat blades, a lovely pair of fine blades fit for the finest gentleman. 
well sharpened, well cared for, and deadly. All right. Yep. That was a nice hit right there. Man, this is... This blade feels nice. What? Oops, damn it. I lost my special. I hit the wrong button. God, I'm getting hurt. I have to be careful with how I'm fighting. Damn it. No, 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 no. I might need to start dodging a lot more. No. There we go. Come on, are you kidding me? They're going to escape soon? That was barely enough time. So I've failed my quest already. Alright, you little shits. Alright, I've still got the chance. I just have to stop him again. There was a time limit. I didn't notice that, so... I need to get heavy on them. Alright. Nope. Hit them with everything you've got. Alright, come on. Hit him like crazy. Come on. No. God damn it, I'm also getting hurt like this. Alright. Kill him. Got him. And. Damn it. I'm getting a little too cocky now. Is that the last one? Okay. Jesus Christ. This is stressful. I gained four, four fame and recovered a relic. So, the new wielder's item will gain a curse. This card cannot be discarded. Oh. Lose equipment whenever you gain a curse? Are you kidding me? Can I drop that off back at the thing and just... No? Oh my god. <laughs> This sucks. How many wilderness cards are there? I may need to set up camp and Those eat who quick. are desperate can never hope to get the best possible price. I might just have to buy some food again. I might cook a little bit of it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's only one of those. Um sell equipment? Do I have anything to sell? The cutthroat blades? Don't want to sell those. Finish the trading. Cook the food. <laughs> but I've got to move across the land. Break camp. God, this sucks so much. Mages are hard to eradicate All right, the best the underneath. of times. This guy's we thing. have our ways of hiding so from stressful. the light. Following Malclips' cryptic directions, many of which involve barring farm animals, you arrive at the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There you uncover a cave entrance blocked by a stone door. You must seek the Ira of the Veil in the underneath. But what? Why? Drops his wine bottle, never seen forces loud and hearty laugh, completely ignoring your question. The bespectacled ogre manning the door of the underneath with ten food items per entry. How about no? Malclips, your quest is waiting. For another day. I need this desperately so I can find the store. <laughs> Alright. Arm wrestle. Ten is my target. That seems easy enough. First roll. Cool. Did I get well reset? Done. Yeah. You continue to impress. Thank you. Thank you. So next time I'll be able to get the 20 coin. Interesting how that works. Okay, um this way. Treacherous wilds. Fuck. Another pain. God save the queen. A moment of peace the open on your wilds? travels. Savor it. Okay. Plus five food. Yay. 
thank you. I almost want to set up camp and cook some of that food right now. Cook the food. Cook the food. Cook the food. Break camp. <laughs> Just need a little bit, man. Just a little bit. Yay! It's so nice. Gold. So I can go get, you know... <sighs> oh, it sucks. There is little I can say that will stop an adventurer pilfering ancient artifacts. Okay. The village of Dernick is unremarkable, save for a tiny near-forgotten shrine. Here you find another relic, resting on a dusty altar. An old woman greets you. I see her interested in our relic. Local legends tell of a time where a great here will come to claim it. Until then, it remains here under our watch. Do I take it by force, or is she going to break it if I do that? Claim I'm the hero. I acquire 15 fame to do that. Take it by force. The relic is our sacred charge. We cannot allow you to rob the heralded hero for the blight birthright. Villagers take up arms against you. So one hand weapons are recommended against northerners. Yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, neglected sword, because that's about all I got. Wooden shield. All right. Just don't forget to block and counter and dodge. I'm going to be okay. All right, trickster. I'm going to need your help, buddy. Don't get killed on me now. I hit my pop filter. Whoops. All right. There's so many people. These guys are so mad. Rabble. You know the land is in peril when those who do not fight, fight. Hey, give me that shield. Whoa, buddy. You threw a bomb at me already. Cool, I understood that's what you wanted to do. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I don't want to deal with that guy real quick right now. Yeah, kill the bomb guy. Alright. Let me attack anyone that gets near you, buddy. Don't worry. Hey, 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 hey. No running up on me. Nice. Thank you. Cool. That helped me a lot. I'm doing good right now. I'm doing good. Whoa! Hey there, buddy. You could not do any of that. That'd be great. Oh god. Alright. I'm ahead of the I'm ahead of the curb on this. Perfect fight. Oh, God. Oh, it's so stressful. Oh, God. I've got it, and it's going to curse me again. Not this time. If you give away everything that is Wait, critical, what? you cannot hope to win. You are your own worst enemy here. Or are you merely testing me? Wow. So I have to have fame for that one. Are you shitting me? <sighs> it is not one game now, but a score, each with its own nuance and delicate approach. This game is evil. By all means of the word. Even God. peace I'd steal okay. within. Alright. Let's just fucking do it. It's another gold one down. I might try and get the gold ones by playing this game off camera sometimes, because I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time on, you know, the little things like, you know, being an idiot. Uh, you don't have to deal with me being that so for a very long time. Good hit. Take him down. Perfect. Just keep hitting these guys. Oops. Do that. At least I didn't take away my combo for that because I finished it. Whoa! We could stop with the bolas. That would be very nice. These guys are lasting a long damn time. Oh, let me get your shield quick, thank you. That's why I got spared from that. Yeah, if you could not do that to me, that'd be nice. 
Nice. Is there another one around here somewhere? Probably not. Yeah, I got him. Man, this was a... This is a hard fucking campaign. I gained four fame. So... <laughs> so note to self, come back to that other one later. Go ahead and put it on. I gained life. Yay. Oh, stop running away from me. In case you're wondering whether I take it personally, these purges of the corrupt. Indeed I do. How could I not? This game has gotten so mean. It is so goddamn brutal. All right. Oh there. It's not my fault you like to help you out. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to mash the Y button like that. That was my bad. Cool. Take some of these other guys low on health. Oh, need to take him out quick. There we go. Oh, they're all over my guy. Oh god, look out, buddy. Oh. Oh, those guys are helping me. That's right. Uh, why can't I? There we go. But I was like, where did the where did the freaking guys come from? And I was like, oh yeah, they're helping me now. I'm like, oh, they're pretty. Uh... Oh, whoops! I gotta have that shield. Oh god, can you help me again? No? Maybe? No? Oh, you can. Sweet. Cool. Perfect. Whoa! Nailed him with a takedown. Thank you for the two fame and the gold. So Piper Plague is a good card to have. Because I can easily beat those fights, get myself some gold and food from that. Alright, that fucking cart is still running away. Alright, so what is the potential this? Of cards based around fame. If you can force them from your deck and into your hands, you can begin to exploit their power. Alas, the Raiders have destroyed our village. The Elder explains we have not a value of steel in mind. I fear they now attack us for sport. Can you give me some advice? Preparation is key to victory. Never be in a quest without first stacking the deck in your favor. Quite literally. Looks like you can pay allies. May your deed of greatness ever reveal the song to the tale. So that gives me eight fame. So fame has become very important all of a sudden. I just need to remember, you know, I don't know why I walked this way. I should have just gone back and turned to the right for the cart, because this is going to run away again. Didn't need to get myself in this fight. I am a dingus. What on earth? The return. Those look fucking terrifying. Raised from endless sleep to fight once more. Skeletons are weak, but come armed with an assortment of equipment, making preparations for combat challenging, vulnerable to holy. So it's the undead from last time, just much better looking. Much more terrifying than they used to be. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, they died so easy. I don't want them to come back. You are cock. You can stop with the fire breathing shit right now. There we go. Alright, take them out before they come back to life. Hey, achievement unlocked, ninja. I am a ninja. Oh god. This campaign is a doozy. Gain four more fame. Thank you. I remember that, you know. So what does this do? The one home we make up at a time. After every encounter with a gambit reveal, one random encounter card on this level. Fashion with the block. So it gives me defense. And then Winter's Bane, so I have a new sword. Because I'm just running off a little basic sword right now, aren't I? I'll take Winter's Bane. Yeah, because I've got the neglected sword. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Take five food. Gain fortune. More gold. Oh, we actually jumped around to this part. Cool. Thank you. I have little sense of trust for wandering merchants. True bargains are rarely found with those who are unwilling to wait around for their customers to test their wares. 
buy the relic. Okay, so that's how you get that one safely. I'm sure I can take it by force, but... Uh, uh Yeah, I'll take another curse. Thanks. Lose four fame each time we start. Thankfully, I don't lose very much uh, food, but... The gather luck means the vibrate and hum then glow with an eerie, unnatural light. They just tower. So that's where the last one is. So I I just want to get this torture over with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh. Oh wait, yeah, you want ten food. You know what? Probably get myself ten food at the campfire. Rain? Is my food? I can only get one food. Never mind. So I can't help you out with that. Never mind. I was gonna see if I get the food to do. But then I just starve, and that would hurt me a lot in the end. Or no, I just want to uh, leave. I don't have the food for it. Sorry, Malaclips. Your story's gonna have to wait for a day that I'm fucking rich. All right. And now you must begin to ask yourself how these threads connect. Were you simply a patsy for the Empire, or did you hope to be something greater? Stand in the tower. Uh, oh, 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 okay, and it's spinning kind of fast, so if I stop... You know what? I'd be safe if I stop it when it's here. Yeah, totally safe on that regard. Oh, wait, why did I... Why did I hit the wrong button? Why do they have redraw on the left? Fucking mongrel. Didn't mean to do that, now my trickster's dead, so I'm not gonna have him for this last battle. God, I'm a fucking idiot. As you climb the tower stairs, a voice calls down from above. Do you even know why you're here? How much did they tell you when you, they ordered you to drag into the wilds? And they sent you here like a dog after a bone. Continue to wind your way up the tower. Oh, oh god. Alright, so if I stop it there... Stop! I'm okay. Because now I'm going to need this shit. Ah, oh, boy. Finally reached the top of the tower. Okay. You've been sent here to do the bidding of the true enemy. Those relics can be used to defeat him, but here you are looking to return them to him. One of Arcane. So, you seek the final relic, the mage says? She looks you up and down. Are you clumsy or foolhardy? I cannot tell. You've come this far, but you failed to bring the relics intact. And yet you continue your errand. She holds out her hand. I guess you've come for this. Ragnar's Cursed Blade. Take it, she says calmly. But be warned, its curse will sap your strength and your will to fight. And combat is inevitable, I'm afraid. Or, she continues, you can let me keep it. But should you best me, it will be lost to you forevermore. I mean... I need to take the relic, don't I? I can't just leave it, because then I'll fail my mission. Leave the relic and fight the mage. I need to take the relic. Take the relic. Ah, uh, Lone Wolf. Your companion will not be in combat. Well... I've already lost that ability because I killed him on the wheel by accident. The relic is heavier in your hands than you expect, and its presence clouds your thoughts. The mage laughs. Your imperial master would be most proud. Prepare to meet your fate. Great. Just great. I've done just... just dandy. God damn it. Well, time to lose the final battle, huh? <laughs> Had my first game over, huh? Relic thief mage. This mage went to extraordinary lengths to gather these relics. They just shoot projectiles from a distance. Use a bait to avoid their attacks. Why does All right. Even want these oh, wait. Why are you here? I thought you were supposed to not be helping me. Whoa. No. Whoa. Okay. Mean asshole. So are those grounds like bad areas for me to stand in? What are those? Wow.
Wow, she has a lot of health. But I can do this. Get out of the way of the spell. All right. I've still got a lot of health, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, woman? Give me your shield. All right, there we go. No, 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 no. Oh, God. And he's down for the count. Wait, an unavoidable chin move. Okay. All right, I'm fine. I'm fine. Damn it. Whoops. I'm going to do that, but I've got this fight on. Holy moly. I somehow won still. Oh, Jesus. Though you failed to recover all the relics, you were able to keep them out of their hands of thieves. Your journey back to the Imperial City to deliver your report. Captain Estrella meets you at the city gates. I'll take you straight to the Chief Council. She'll be eager to examine what you brought back. When you walk to the palace, you explain that while you didn't manage to secure all the relics, you're sure that they are all destroyed or lost. Save your excuses for the council. You were sent to bring them all back. Chief Council take your news like bitter medicine. Well, I guess this is what happens when you send mercenaries and yokels to do a proper job. Be gone now before I question your loyalties. I'm sorry. At least I beat the mission. Every part of this tale is a part of your history. A part of the reasons that bring you here. Deadly Forest? What is that? Huh. Why was that all on fire? I don't know. Holy moly. Two silvers instead of gold. And then the new missions. But we'll save those for our next stream. It's been almost two hours, so I think we'll go ahead and uh, cut this stream here. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, this is Mask Man, logging off. <laughs>